I'm Kat Miller and this is Dice TV. A few weeks ago, I hit you with a list of the top five libraries for C++. But since our C++ and C Sharp Dice Talent Community Guide, David Bolton, doesn't play favorites with his babies, today I'm going to give you his top five C Sharp libraries so that now you'll have his picks for C++ plus his picks for C Sharp. <laughs> Let's start this list off with libraries for algorithms and data structures. Now, I know you're going to tell me that .NET already gives you plenty of those, but I'm going to tell you that there are a few things missing. The C5 library fills those voids with offerings like circular queues and tree bags and are deliciously orthogonal. But we don't need to explain that to you, right? Oh, oh no, we do? Well, they're well designed and don't create too many side effects. Another great library is the Wintellect Power Collection, which is basically just a well-done compilation of generic collection classes. And I know, .NET has plenty of those too, but when you need a multi-dictionary with multiple values per key, all you gotta do is turn up the power. The Wintellect Power. When looking for an open source graphical information system for the purpose of plotting cool maps, it was a tight race for David, but he's given the edge here to dot spatial. Maybe because it's used to analyze dolphins in the Marine Life Ecological Survey and David is just a big ol' softy for a good cetacean. Since you always want to know who's to blame for whatever, no .NET application is complete without logging. Log4Net is a conversion of the Log4J software and was developed by the same tribe that wrote Apache, the world's most used web server. Log what you want in the format you want to just about anywhere you want. Sweet. And lastly, game developers, if you want to write games using the XNA framework like the one used with Xbox, but are totally bummed out because Microsoft doesn't support it in Windows 8, you can still stay faithful by using Monogame. Not only does it run on Windows, but it works on iPhones too, and over 35 games in the App Store are using it now, and that's just the beginning. So tell me, what libraries do you think the c Sharper should know about? Tell me in the comments or hit David directly on the C++ and C Sharp Dice Talent community. I'm Kat Miller, but with a spicy bouquet of David Bolton that suggests a fine Merlot, and this is Dice TV.